We talk a lot about conversion focused campaigns on this channel because that's a lot of the reason that people go to paid media campaigns. And that's usually what the majority of our clients want us to go after. But that's not the only reason that you can use paid media campaigns. Sometimes you just want to get your message out in front of your target audience and you're more looking for reach and impressions rather than bottom of funnel conversions. Now, one of the campaign types that we like to use for that is the awareness objective and meta ads. And there are a couple different impression controls that you can use in that campaign type. So in this video, we're going to walk you through those two different impression controls and talk about some scenarios where they might make sense for you. To get started, we're just going to create a new campaign that has that awareness campaign objective that we talked about earlier. This is where these impression controls are going to live. So let's go ahead and click awareness, click continue. And now we have our brand new campaign for these different impression controls. We don't need to adjust anything at the campaign level just yet. So let's go into the ad set controls. Now, the first thing that we need to know is what your performance goal is, because each of these different performance goals available in an awareness ad set will have different levels of availability for the different frequency controls that we're talking about. No matter which performance goal you use, you'll either end up with one or both of the different frequency controls that we can use. So I'm not going to go through each of the different controls that they have available. I just want to tell you that you need to utilize either the maximize reach of ads, maximize ad recall lift, maximize through play views, or maximize two second continuous video plays. Effectively, maximize the number of impressions is the only performance goal that you'll use that will not have either of the frequency controls available for it. So if you use any of those other four performance goals, you'll be able to use at least one of these options. So now let's talk about the options themselves. If we scroll down here, you can see there's an entire section on frequency control. And right off the bat, you're able to see the two different types that we have frequency cap and frequency target. Now there's a nice little blurb up here about target frequency because it's relatively new, but we're going to start with the frequency cap because that's the default and that's the one that's been around for the longest time. A frequency cap in meta ads is saying that you have a certain number of times you want somebody to see your ad in a certain number of days. You can see the text down here below that says as a maximum, we'll aim to stay under two impressions every seven days. And that's based on what's in these drop downs up here. Now you can adjust these almost as much as you want. If you wanted them to have 25 impressions in seven days, you can do that. If you want them to have 250 impressions in seven days, now you're starting to get into some errors. You can see over here on the right hand side that the maximum number of impressions needs to be between one and 90. So you could set this to be 90 every seven days and it takes away all the errors. And I'll tell you, you can actually set this to be 90 impressions for every one day and it still doesn't throw any errors. Now, would I recommend this? Absolutely not. That's way too many impressions for a person per day, but this is just a cap. So it's trying to make sure that you don't serve too many impressions to the same user. So that's how a frequency cap works. Some scenarios when you might want to use this is if you want to run awareness campaigns, but you want to avoid over serving or annoying your audience. This could either be because you have a big budget and a big audience, but sometimes Facebook prioritizes some users over others if they seem to have a higher likelihood of engaging with your ads. So that could avoid oversaturating a certain portion of your large audience. But on the other end of the spectrum, if you have a small audience and you want to make sure that you're reaching them as much as you can without oversaturating it, a frequency cap can be a good way to make sure that you're getting in front of those users, but not too much. You're not becoming annoying. And in the same vein, if you want to space out the exposure of your campaign, a frequency cap can be a really good option for this. If you're trying to get lots of impressions in a campaign, but you want to make sure that it happens over a certain period of time, maybe you have a campaign that's going to be running for one month. You don't want to serve all of those impressions to that user at the beginning of the month and basically have a really short awareness window and then miss out on the later half of the month. The frequency cap will help you limit the number of impressions that they see over a period of time so that maybe every five days they'll see five impressions and then the next five days they'll see five more impressions. So that's how impression and frequency caps work. Now let's talk about the targets, the newer option that we have. So if we read through this little blurb, the target frequency helps you set how often people see your ads each week and can help you reach your intended audience at the frequency that you've set. Now there are some limitations here around the length of your campaign and the budget type. 
as you can see right now, this is grayed out. I can't actually use this. And that's because by default, the ad set is set to a daily budget. So if I scroll down, set this budget to lifetime, I can scroll back up. And now I still have the option to run impression and frequency caps, but now I'm able to choose target. Now they reset the numbers here and it says to help you achieve your target, we'll aim to deliver two impressions every seven days. So you can tell that the language here is different. There's not a maximum cap or limit that they're going to try and hit. They're actually going to try and serve your ad twice every seven days. The goal is to actually get those two impressions in seven days. And those numbers are pretty important because in the impression cap option, you'll remember that we got to set the cap 90 impressions every single day. That's a bit crazy. It's a really high count, but the target frequency is much different. There's a lot more controls here. So if you leave your date range to every seven days and we click the drop down here, we can only use one, two, or three as the target number of impressions that we want in that seven day window. If I then lower the days down to, let's say three, you'll see that this number reset to one. And if I go to the drop down, there's only one available. If I increase the date range again, now I'm up to 20 days for my interval. The drop down expands and I can have anywhere from one to 10 impressions as my target impression number. So if you're doing the math on this, you'll find that you're really only going to have about one impression every two days, because if I choose 10, now I have 10 impressions every 20 days. When we were on the lower end, we had one impression for every three days. If I would have gone up to four, I could have done two impressions over four days. So there are some controls you have here, but effectively it balances out to one impression every two days. Now, obviously this functions quite a bit different than the way the cap does because you're trying to hit a certain number rather than capping it, but also you kind of are stuck having one impression every couple days. So what would be the benefits to that? When would you actually want to use that? The impression targets can be really useful if you have more complex messaging that requires people to engage with your ad multiple times. If you're just selling widgets and the widgets are pretty self-explanatory, maybe this doesn't make sense for you. But if you're trying to get back in front of somebody multiple times because you want them to understand how your company works, how your offerings could impact them, utilizing this spaced out impression target could be a really useful way to make sure that you make an impression, literally, and then follow up regularly to be able to convey more complex ideas later on. That would also be the same case if a purchase or an engagement with somebody is a very big purchase. Think something like a B2B contract. If you want to make sure that you have regular touch points, this can be a great option for that. Similarly, if you have an upcoming event and you want to make sure that you're getting in front of people on a regular cadence, maybe you have an upcoming sale, something like that, an impression target can be really useful. You're not going to oversaturate them because you literally can't with this impression target, but Facebook is going to actively try and send impressions to those users over that course of time. So while a cap might make sure that you don't oversaturate them, a target makes sure that you continue to reach them at a regular cadence. And lastly, I think impression targets can be really useful if you're trying to understand how the frequency of an ad can impact your brand awareness. Whether you're measuring that through a brand lift study or you're just doing it on your own, utilizing an impression target can help you control the number of impressions you're using. And if you compare the impact on your brand awareness when you're using impression targets compared maybe to using impression caps, you might have an understanding of how incremental impressions in these types of awareness campaigns are actually driving different behavior down the line. That could be in meta ads through one campaign to the next, or it could be running these meta ad awareness campaigns and then monitoring your brand performance later on in search. Overall, whether you're using the new target frequency control or the original impression cap that you have available, these awareness campaigns can be pretty customizable based on the types of goals that you're going after. Now, while these controls aren't super complex, hopefully they're pretty easy to understand, that doesn't mean that they can't have a big impact on your performance. A target impression count can really help you space out your campaign and make sure that you're regularly reaching somebody, while a frequency cap can make sure that you're not oversaturating the audience that you're reaching on a regular basis. Now that you know how these work and some good scenarios where they might make sense, I hope you start testing them in your account to see if they can get you some incremental performance out of your awareness campaigns. If you have any additional questions about these frequency controls or anything else in the Meta Ads platform, leave us a note in the comments. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, 
give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the Super Thanks button.